you can see whether your 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 project idea too actually is uh, maybe palatable to the market or not? Because whether you have covered every angle of the, the project. Kalau we're talking about X lah tadi, alright? Sama juga yang the first group tu, we're talking about OGD whatsoever. So you can break up also, macam ni. Whether you have cover every aspect of uh, the market needs. Bila you're talking about idea ni, it's about how you you solve possible problem or market problem, alright? So this is uh, how, uh, contoh, let's say you want to go for shopping. Uh, this is how you can break up in shopping list. Uh, so, kalau nak ingat lah, ini is rather than you list down one by one, you can draw this type of uh, using the mind mapping your concept. So this one I can skip. You can can go through a word. So mind mapping ini is by Tony Buzan lah. So this is the uh, the theory part when come to uh, mind mapping. Okay, this one also is talking about. Uh, Concise learning method also which is they combine dengan mind mapping dia So this is uh, the theory part uh, focus on uh, important information, organize information, repeat, summarize, practice and review Alright So this is under concise learning method So So uh, okay this is how to use that the concise learning method This is their example about the lecture material lah eh? Some of you talking about tutor tutor apa tutor plus tadi. Uh, so uh, uh, this is uh, some of the step that uh, use under concise learning method. Alright. So okay, uh, on top of my mapping, there also another one will be by uh, Edward De Bono. We call it uh, six thinking hat. So I want to summarize this. Huh? Uh, six lah. Dia dia nak topik. Alright. So for instance, ah uh, this one. So this is how they combine with the mind mapping dengan six thinking hat. Alright. So what is six thinking hat? I bagi example dia punya color. Kalau white hat tu actually is focus to objective thinking, which is uh, focus on gathering and uh, analyzing data. Maksudnya if you have a group discussion, okay, everybody we now we wear uh, white thinking hat. So you focus to that objective first. Then after that, uh, talking about red hat. Red hat ni is focus on emotional thinking. Alright. Which is focus on intuition and feeling, and the black hat uh, you are referred to critical thinking or you identify potential problem. So uh, the yellow hat talking about optimistic ataupun opportunity and uh, benefit from the idea, and the green hat uh, refer to creative thinking, generating new idea, possibly new idea, and of course the last one will be strategic thinking. So basically how you organize, uh, uh, coordinating all the ideas. All right. That is what, uh, this is combination between uh, six thinking hat plus dengan my mapping. So they explain six thinking hat ni by way of my mapping. You can see here. You can set the photo. Alright. So I can skip this part. Basically that's only the simplified explanation lah. I said, yang banyak-banyak tadi tu ni note dia lah. Alright. Okay. I can skip this one. So I want to go to... Uh, we benefit this one ah uh, again lah kalau bila come to six thinking hat ni uh, you can use my mapping kalau kalau nak ingat benda-benda macam ni alright um, okay six thinking hat ni is two to structure thinking and this is a thinking okay this is what i want to share actually this more because they talking about the seven basic thinking tools here they are the seven seven six thinking tools so talking about aim money Basically, this is a basic thinking tools Yang I want to share which is a by way of cognitive research track For is, for example uh, This is part 7 uh, AGO Aim, Goals and Disability What do you mean by that? I give you an example Let's say you want uh, to have healthy, fit, healthy life Contoh That is aim Maksudnya aim very high level You, are, you want to have healthy life So what is the goal? Goal to something measurable You boleh ukur benda tu so maksudnya you want to uh, participate in a uh, uh, 5 km race uh, next six months so that is the goal maksudnya benda tu is measurable and the third one is about objective objective how you want to do it uh, that is objective when come to uh, AGO alright uh, this is a uh, step sorry this is, uh, this is on the uh, basic thinking tool lah under AGO uh, Contoh dia kalau objektif tu, contoh macam tadi saya dah cakap Goal, 
you want to run 5 km race within the next 6 months dia punya objektif contoh uh, you want to exercise 30 minutes thrice a week contoh uh, you will have to take healthier food and the third one maybe you have to monitor your progress so that is objective so dia break up break up from the very broad basically in your vision you want to be healthy life so the goal, uh, goal you want to participate in 5 km race and next 6 months so benda tu you ada uh, you ada measurable and the third one objective where you want you can measure that you can measure or you can quantify uh, what you need to do alright that is uh, what you call it under basic thing to AGO Okay, the next one is about consider all factors Ah, Basic thing to is about consider all factors So, basically, uh, consider all factors ni Kalau bahasa mudah explanation, you fikir habis-habis lah Itu macam itu je Consider all factors Assuming you all after you completed your study You want to buy a new car So, what factor you have to consider? First, of course, it's about price of the car uh, kalau boleh semua orang nak pakai mesti uh, tapi you have to see your uh, affordability lah ok about your salary you all should know how to calculate with the CD. kalau dari segi affordability if your salary 3000 the bank uh, the bank in Arab allow only one third to be deducted from your loan one third so maximum is about what 1000 installment if you want to buy a car with installment 2000 your loan will not approve right so that is uh, uh, about uh, uh, the affordability about the price of the car then the next one is what? quality kan? Uh, fuel consumption kalau you pakai kereta mahal-mahal macam western car ataupun kita panggil continental car letih nak bunyi minyak ni nasib baik sekali minyak ni raw 95 tapi kalau kereta mahal dia pakai uh, minyak raw 95 dia nanti dia tersentak uh, itu dia beza dia so that's why raw 95 actually is subsidized punya fuel alright? to cater uh, everybody punya uh, to maintain actually our inflation kalau tak kan nanti semua barang lagi mahal alright uh, fuel efficiency and then the next important thing when you want to buy a new car contohnya consider all factor is about resale value faham tak resale value? Uh, after 3-4 years that you are using the car nak tukar upgrade kereta baru then you have to see whether the resale value tu is good continental car dia punya price is expensive resale value memang Jatuh Bila you want to sell it uh, Contoh macam Renault uh, Renault you beli memang mahal Tapi bila you nak jual uh, Susah nak jual dia Contoh Satu lagi Citroen Itu uh, pun susah juga Kereta nak buat cantik 3-4 tahun lepas tu nak jual Pening kepala dia Susah orang nak beli yeah, Tapi the good car uh, This is consider all factors Macam uh, Macam Toyota The best Japanese car But after you use 3-4 years You want to sell Dia punya resale value still high Because why? Dia punya spare part is easier to get so there is a supply and demand Maksudnya you want to sell I don't want to beli Right So that is consider all factors Okay I go to next one uh, Di macam ni lah Possible answer ni Is about uh, Animal rohat Alright Okay Next one is about First in, uh, Important Priority Okay First important priority I bagi you simple Simple Example Maksudnya what is a priority In First example about your personal finance Tak payah pergi jauh lah kita fikir kita punya personal finance After you completed your degree, you work The first thing for smart salary, what you want to do? Beli rumah The first thing you give to your parent Alright, uh, that is a Dia panggil first important priority For me, that is first important priority in my life First, whether I got money, I don't have money, that different story First important priority, what you want to Basically, your money, where you want to look at. First is your parent Second, for your meal Makan dulu lah The third one, maybe your accommodation Tak mana nak tinggal The third one, maybe go to transport Faham tak? That is what you're talking about That is under category of personal finance Maksudnya, sendiri macam mana Kita, we have to know Maksudnya, the first thing dapat first month salary Beli telefon So, tak pandai lah priority You have to see uh, Kalau you all belajar, tell you about slow lah Oh ya, dalam management tu Maslo, the first uh, the first basic thing about safety tu maksudnya is about the food tapi kita bukan food lah the first thing as a muslim first thing parent first alright remember that part that is what consider first important priorities alright uh, next one is OPV OPV ni tahu tak tahu pula disebut kat sini other people view I give example 
Maksudnya uh, Mati ni is a very important thing uh, I give example macam uh, You ever we know about Adabi product Adabi Alright So Adabi bila they, Before they launch any new product To the market Maksudnya selling to us Kita panggil bila to the market Selling to the consumer like, uh, uh, So uh, first Bila they come up with new product After R&D First They get all the staff in the factory To masuk office staff To test the product So everybody will give the comment So that is talking about uh, Other people view You get the feedback Because Based on this feedback You akan refine your product Terlebih masin Terlebih pedas Whatsoever kan So by doing that That's why you can see uh, Adabi punya product Dia more close to our kitchen Dia punya taste tu lebih kurang Macam kita punya cooking Dia punya contoh macam taste dia So that is what uh, Talking about other people product So other people view Maksudnya sekarang Bila come to marketing Product development You have to test first To, to see how the market reaction Faham tak? Uh, itu other people Basic thinking tu Come to other people view So by doing that You can refine your product lah Before you go to the market Betul uh, Macam kalau financial services tu You all before You launch new product uh, Bila nak contoh nak jual Credit card uh, Pening kepada apa So you have to see What is the uh, specific features That you can tell the market bila you Credit card is a credit card Tapi that's why sometimes They bundle it with Housing loan They bundle with You buy a new card Tentu you dapat credit card Faham? Oh. Ha, maksudnya they bundle it Basically ha, Just uh, This is normally orang marketing lah Because kalau dia Jual credit card itself Tak ada orang nak beli pun Tapi bila you buy Because uh, Package Macam you nak buy loan, uh, Housing loan That's something you need To have the housing loan In order for you To buy a house So they bundle it Dengan credit card That's how uh, dipanggil bundle package lah Faham tak? So uh, this is under OPV lah dia Maksudnya bila cut to not launch new product You have to know what is people view Comment Macam ni, macam tadi lah ada group uh, Before dia ada group Before dia come out with the project idea Dia buat survey dekat nilai square lah Asking just generally about what people talk about this uh, That is orang kata apa That you conduct macam market survey uh, Other people view ni macam market survey lah Alright? Uh, next one is about plus minus interesting So it's the same thing also Kalau ada product development You have to see what is your potential of your product What is the uh, drawback Ataupun things uh, Saya tak nak sebut uh, negative So kalau dalam word business Kita tak panggil uh, Kita tak panggil problem Kita panggil uh, challenges Or things that we can improve So you look You see from uh, positive perspective Uh, you jangan kata negatif Kalau benda-benda ni Basically Kalau you nak comment Certain thing tu You say that uh, Maybe this area can be you, Macam constructive thinking Faham tak? So this is uh, Plus minus interesting tu Macam tu lah What is the potential Of your product What is thing that you can You have to improve Actually basically is What is the drawback And interesting part ni Kalau in other word Kita panggil Unique value proposition kalau dalam industri kita tak bagi interesting Kita bagi what is your unique value proposition That's why saya selalu tanya tadi You all your project What's so special about your project So you can put in your presentation later Our unique value proposition of our project uh, What's so special about That's why I like you to compare Kalau mana yang pakai travel muslim tu to Compare dengan uh, muslim pro Dengan ada yang mana yang travel app Yang tak halal tu You take certain features tu You include to your product So make it your Unique value proposition of your product Alright Okay So this one is basic thing too Is talking about consequences and sequel Basically whatever that you want to do uh, You have to still Kena fikir habis-habis lah Dia ada implication dia Kena tahu Kena dia, dia ada implication same, same thing bila in business When you want to invest into uh, business Invest ni talking about uh, Kalau dalam business kita panggil capital expenditure Tahu ke mana mungkin Haa uh, bila you want to put the money Because they will take some time to generate The new value from that uh, investment So normally kita akan tengok Dari segi calculate consequences The effect because when You don't take really big thinking It can be backfire to you lah I'll give you example Contoh macam Pernah dengar kan Dia buat daya darah kan Saya dah explain kan So uh, basically Gaddafi The the, the owner said Gaddafi He got to sell off the new factory Because uh, You invest 10 million But you don't have the sales to cover your fixed cost Especially you You uh, Buku ni So basically you, I think you sold about 80% or 90% of the share of the factory So that is consequences You bukan invest Short-short Asa nak ada factory You have to think Maksudnya the consequences Whatever decision that you want to make Okay Of course here 
they are they are short term, medium term, and long term in terms of uh, uh, quasi concerns too. Alright. Tapi dalam accounting kita ada dua je. In, uh, short term and long term. Long term anything more than one year kita pergi long term lah. Tapi in this in this uh, CTPS dia divided into short term five years, less five years, medium term. Because uh, from from business perspective, kalau um, if you can survive your business more than a year, actually you are good lah. Eh? Uh, dia basically kalau personal finance ha, ni nak bagi tahu personal finance when you working later you better have that emergency fund faham tak tu emergency fund emergency fund tu at least contoh you save uh, contoh lah lima minit seminggu that emergency fund tu to cater in case you are jobless you tak ada kerja kena buang kerja but at least can last you for six months faham tak to cover basic need of you maksudnya your meal your accommodation your transport tu basic need bukan shopping lah so so basically this is under what you call it uh, when you talk about business kalau you can survive more than a year actually you can survive uh, in terms of doing business alright this consequences um, this is basically uh, talking about uh, robotic system of course robotic ni uh, kalau you tengok uh, dekat Malaysia yang fully robotic ni dah uh, yang yang asset as far as I know macam uh, factory proton lah dekat uh, Tanjung Malin dia fully robotic dia tak macam dekat Shah Alam tu yang masih itu yang 1980s ni uh, sekarang dia fully robotic tu so uh, when you have that fully robotic system of course dia ada precision faster uh, they, you don't have deal with human yang macam-macam style so but when it comes to this fully robotic system dia ada lah dia punya consequence dia dia create more uh, Unemployment, orang tak nak kerja lah Faham tak? So that is consequence Tapi of course, that's why Gama selalu cakap Rescaling Kita dengar? Rescaling Faham tak? Rescaling uh, Maksudnya, after you have completed your degree But because the market is changing Especially under industrial uh, For industrial revolution Everything will go or robotic lah AI, IOT lah semua So you rescaling Maksudnya, you upgrade your skill tu To, to cater to the market ni Contoh You are budak ma, uh, What you call it Marketing So but You also uh, Learn about AI You learn about So basically You make you more Multitasking So Even though The the, the, the world is changing But because you are Reskilling You improve your skill Faham tak That's what you call it Reskilling Especially yang Related to uh, To the current ni lah. Especially macam Graphy uh, Content lah. Especially now Uh, when talk about this, budak-budak yang non shiny better you go to content Jadi content developer lah, you create content macam you all Oh nak kerja dulu Yes, pandai Alright, then finally this is uh, APC This is uh, thinking tool Basically alternative possibility and choice So here, when you talk about uh, uh, What you call it, uh, this APC uh, When come to, uh, maksudnya bila you want to make decision Normally you have alternative Then uh, you see what is uh, each alternative. If you have alternative, for example, when uh, you got the two offer, when you completed your degree, you got two offer. Then you see you have alternative, you got two offer. Then you have the acceptance the possibility of this of this two offer. You then got pro and con. Yeah? Then finally you make decision where you want to go. If you got two offer, come on, it's all. So that is what talking about alternative uh, possibility and choice. All right. Okay, uh, need air pollution, of course, uh, in another example. So, I think, uh, that one zero six. So, uh, with that, uh, I would like to stop my class here. So, um, I have another announcement before uh, we, uh, we close the session. Uh, for those yang, uh, yang respond to my uh, Jamal Raya, thank you so much for coming. Tapi because it's involve uh, 10 classes uh, eh? 10 classes So I need uh, I, I Actually I tak ada caterer pun So basically Home cook by Dr. Anita lah uh, So uh, So uh, basically